and we had 10,000 people. If Hillary had the rally, she would have had 200 people if she was lucky. I so we'll see what happens. I don't know that that translates into votes. In theory, it should, but I don't know that it translates into votes. What does translate into votes is she's done a terrible job as a senator from New York and, and totally, and by the way, totally documented in the Washington Post article. She's done a terrible job economically. Mr. Trump, and, I, I want to ask you. you have to put that article in because it, it was a long, detailed, uh, very, very, you know, strong article when she's doing her speech because she'll be making a speech and saying all the same things she said about New York, and she left, and it was, it was a disaster. In fact, it cost us a fortune because of what she did, and it cost us a fortune, cost us jobs, cost us upstate New York. She Mr. did Mr. Trump, she I, did negative. I, I want to ask you, you look at that in light of her speech today, which I'm sure will be wonderful. I want to ask you about the rally last night in Florida that you referenced, where you called the president of the United States the founder of ISIS. You said it repeatedly. President Obama is the founder of ISIS. He's the founder. He founded ISIS. Do you think it's appropriate? to call the sitting president of the United States the founder of a terrorist organization that wants to kill Americans? Uh, he was the founder of ISIS, uh, absolutely. Uh, the way he removed our troops, uh, you shouldn't have gone in. I was against the war in Iraq. I was totally against it, even though I was a civilian, so nobody cared. But we shouldn't have been in Iraq. I would not have been in Iraq if I were president. But that mistake was made. It was a horrible mistake, one of the worst mistakes in the history of our country. We destabilized the Middle East. We've been paying the price for it for years. But he was the founder, absolutely the founder. In fact, he gets the, in sports, they have awards. He gets the most valuable player award, him and Hillary. I mean, she gets it too. I gave him co-founder, if you really looked at the spaceship. I think you probably did. But he and Hillary get the most valuable player award having to do with Iraq and, and having to do with, uh, with the ISIS situation, or as he would call it, ISIL. He calls it ISIL because nobody else does and probably wants to bother people by using a different term uh, and whether it's more accurate or not. Most people call it ISIS. He calls it ISIL. He was the founder of ISIS, and so was she. I mean, I call them co-founders. Well, so not uh, only are you, are, not only do you not think, not only do you not think it was an issue. And because of the way he got out, as bad as it was that they went in, they should have never gotten in. He shouldn't have gotten in the way he got out. He shouldn't have gotten out the way he got uh, got out. It was a disaster what but he did. How do you it think, how do you think, how Why, do you is think? Is there something wrong with saying that? Why are people complaining that I said he was the founder of ISIS? I, I'm, I'm wondering how you think that's going to play in some I battleground don't, I don't states. Know. Whatever it is, it is. Look, but, all I do is tell the truth. I'm a truth teller. All I do is tell the truth. And if at the end of 90 days I fall in short because I'm somewhat politically correct, even though I'm supposed to be the smart one and even though I'm supposed to have a lot of good ideas, it's okay. You know, I go back to a, a very good way of life. It's not what I'm looking to do. I think we're going to have a victory. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, I know, we'll see. A, look at look, all some, of her uh, pay-for-play and, and all of the stuff that's come out over the last couple of days where she's basically selling jobs uh, and many other things. That's the least of it. Uh, let's, what she let's, does is illegal. She's done many illegal things. I mean, her emails, that's illegal. She wiped out 33,000 emails. Now, I don't know, but, you know, they, they tend to have a different standard. If anyone else knocked out 33,000 emails, they would be in a problem like you wouldn't believe. She knocked out 33,000 emails. She got away with it. Frankly, I think it's her single greatest achievement as a politician, getting away with that. Look, because some, other people, their lives have been ruined. She got away with it. Mr. Knocked Trump, out 33, look, some, missing 33,000 emails, and they say, oh, that's fine. Some you know, would point out. Greatest, I'm telling you. New York State, she was a disaster. As Secretary of State, she was a disaster. You take a look at Libya, you take a look at what she did. I'll tell you this, if Barack Obama had it to do again, now he'd never say this other than to his wife, if he had it to do again, he would have never chosen Hillary Clinton to be Secretary of State because those decisions have been a disaster. The line in the sand, so many decisions. Uh, Crimea gone. He talks about Crimea. He talks about the Ukraine. Let me let me ask Crimea you quickly if I gone could. During his administration, he Mr. Trump, about, let me will Trump be friendly with Putin. Well, I think it would be great. Number one, I don't know Putin. I I couldn't care. I don't know Putin, but I think it would be great if the United States actually got along with Russia, which we don't. But 
on his watch, Crimea was taken. And, you know, nobody mentions that. Let me, let me ask you if I could quickly before we go. You mentioned earlier how polls were, I believe in your words, tightening. Yet the new NBC News Wall Street Journal Marist poll has you trailing in battleground states such as Iowa, Ohio, and Pennsylvania by, by wide amounts. How do you close that gap? I just keep doing the same thing I'm doing right now. And at the end, it's either going to work or I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to have a, a very, very nice long vacation. <laughs> Mr. Trump, we want to thank you very much for joining us today. We do appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you very much.